Hey, my name is Flame Solus, and it's only been three weeks since my last upload, but I can assure you that there was a good reason. Before making another video, I wanted to at least learn more editing tricks to keep things interesting. In addition, I previously mentioned that all I had to do was solder the I2C lines and interrupts. That's not really an update, that's a regret of not having a fume extractor. If you're new here, I'm documenting my progress on a DOI motion capture suit. The hope is to have it working in VR as an alternative to the Kinect and Vive trackers, which are currently useful by tracking. You can check out my previous video for all the additional details. After finally wiring up all the power lines, add two C lines, and about half the interrupt lines, I was able to test my older code from three years ago to see if everything worked. Sadly, I found out the code only works if the connected chips have all their interrupt lines set up. Remember, I'm a better coder than I am at understanding schematics, so having this one minor setback isn't the worst thing ever. Uh, once I snipped off the extra chips and tried the code again, I was greeted with proper returns. This also means I won't have to rewrite all the handling code, so this was a nice thing to see. One of the nice things about the code I wrote was the debug mode, which makes it easy to test in putty. Using simple commands like VER, start, and get data, I could acquire all the information from the MPU6050 sensors via command line. Later on, I do plan to include a binary mode for faster data transfer, but that can wait. For now, my focus is wrapping up the last two interrupt lines, making sure the code can handle all seven sensors, and write some C++ code for receiving the information. The C++ app will handle all the heavy lifting on the maths, while the Arduino handles the sensor negotiations. In the end, I spent most of my time trying to learn DaVinci Resolve a bit more, as well as Open Dunes to help add some extra content to the videos. I found Fusion was all I needed, but it was nice to try something that reminded me of Macromedia Flash. I mostly wanted to make this video to show that I am still working on the project and taking steps to make more informative videos. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter for occasional snapshots of progress that will be later explained in these videos. If you like what you've seen so far, be sure to like and subscribe for future updates. Cheers, everyone.